Now, most of this is almost done. We just got a bit of cleanup to do, some staining, and a little playing around on the inside of the box. I still don't know how I'm going to secure the book inside. I have a couple ideas, so we'll see what happens there. I'm not too sure. This has been one of those projects where you just have fun doing. It took me, uh, I think, almost a, a week to complete. Uh, it seemed to be a lot more time on the CNC machine than I wanted to. Uh, I had a couple of issues. One being the uh, DeWalt 660 that I had on it decided it wanted to have a nap. So, good thing I had my backup. And then I was able to finish. So after putting the new Dewalt on, I had to stop, put the new end mill on as well, uh, just because the one I had on there decided it wanted to go as well. It was good for cutting the soft parts, but it wasn't really good at uh, actually cutting through the knots. So we changed that up and then uh, got back on it and finished up with uh, out, uh, many issues. but. Uh, the project could have definitely gone a lot better. I would have uh, liked a bit better of a result when it came to the cutting of it, but that was just me being um, lazy and not checking over my bit that I had on there for the end mill, as well as uh, knowing that the DeWalt was about to cap out and was hoping it would finish the project and this caused a few things to happen when I was cutting. One was there was an issue with it not cutting completely straight it was going off on an angle and this happened because it was not cutting smoothly through the knot and it was causing my my uh, x-axis to uh, on the one side uh, shift a little bit every time so I was getting to the point where I was a quarter of an inch out every time um, which is pretty big uh, when it came down to it on this box so the dimensions is it is 11 inches uh, wide and that's kind of what I want to stick with I want something that was small enough uh, to be able to have it so you could carry it around and store your projects in it while you work on them. The reason why I made this was because I loved the starter kit for the Arduino, but I wanted something a little bit more ideal for playing around with my projects and uh, all the little boxes and everything that came in the Arduino kit were uh, not ideal, so I decided to go with building my own so that way I could have something where I could have my um, stuff that I was working on in the box so that way it could be put away nice and neatly as well as uh, be able to get to all the parts that are in the trays that uh, as well as the USB cable so what I did was I put a smaller USB cable in there from an Arduino knockoff I do have one issue with 
uh, this build and that was securing the book in the top part. My initial plan was to build a tray to go over the top and have it hinged so that way it would hold the book as well as the uh, cardboard pieces that uh, come in the kit as well. Well after doing this uh, I'd, I'd got to the point where I was uh, I had to think of something else so uh, for right now, I don't have the book secured in there, but I will soon. I just have to find the part that I was looking for to be able to secure it in there properly. Uh, other than that, it's been a wonderful project to uh, work on, just to have uh, a storage compartment for all my Arduino stuff and look pretty sweet as well. Uh, total cost for this build uh fifteen dollars uh actually i think it was fourteen dollars for the hardware that i put on it and i didn't even use it all i still have a handle that i was going to put on here as well but uh i ended up not uh, putting it on because it just didn't fit how i wanted it to so i would love to make more of these in the future for um uh, my raspberry pi and other little development boards that I have lying around and then come up with a cool display to be able to uh, uh, put them on. So with that all being said, let's have a look at the final product. So thanks for watching everyone. You have a wonderful week, a wonderful day, and take care. Eh? We'll see you next time.